Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to yet another Sigma Life Hangout. Today, we're going to try to shed light on the term bizonal bicommunal federation. And I want to clarify this. We're going to focus on the term and not on the rightfulness of it being an option for a solution. Today with us to discuss the topic is Dr. Andoni Stilianou, a law lecturer. Hello and welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, it's nice to be here <laughs> with you today. I hope we can help the people understand what is this thing that we have in question. Some people are pro, some people are con, but I don't know if all of them really understand what is it, what it is, what is it about. So what is in plain language a bi-zonal, bi-communal federation? Well, it is important to know uh, in the first place that there have been indefinite discussions about the content of a solution to the Cyprus uh, problem. And it is indeed uh, a, a situation that arises is that uh, we have agreed uh, since 1977 as Greek Cypriots as to the content or the language that will be used in relation to a possible solution to the Cyprus problem. And that has been uh, a bi-zonal, bi-communal federation. But nevertheless, there are uh, important problems in relation to the interpretation mm -hmm. of the terms in relation to the context of what is meant by bizonal or what is meant by bicommunal, in some respects uh, there is there are also different interpretations as to what is meant by a federation, by a federal mm -hmm. state. But do doesn't the UN have definitions for all these definitions? Well, uh, the, in international law there is no rigid definition of, of what is uh, a federation or what is a bicommunal or bizonal federation, uh, but nevertheless we need to emphasize uh, some important points in order to exactly un understand the contextual uh, value of, of the terms used uh, and the contextual value of what will be the proposed or possible solution to the Cyprus problem. We need to understand firstly that Cyprus uh, has been a victim of a blatant violation of international law mm -hmm. by Turkey in 1974 with the, invasion. with the invasion and following the invasion Cyprus, the Republic of Cyprus still suffers from gross violations mm -hmm. of international law and international human rights law in, in the sense that Turkey remains the occupying power uh, in relation to the 66.2% of the sovereign ter territory of the Republic of Cyprus. That's the first issue that we need to point out. Secondly, the so-called, uh, in inverted commas, Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, uh, which was instigated by Turkey in order to be self-declared an autonomous uh, state, in inverted commas, in international law. And, and which has inverted commas because only Turkey recognizes exactly, that, that, was, that state That was exists. my next point yeah. because the so-called TRNC has never been recognized by any other state than, uh, rather than Turkey. Uh, so that's also an issue that we need to take into account, uh, that uh, illegality in international law. Mm -hmm. And thirdly, Cyprus has joined the European Union on the 1st of May of, of 2004, and that changes the situation in that uh, any solution has to respect the acquis communautaire, mm -hmm. the European Union fundamental principles, and those have to be incorporated in the text of any proposed solution to the Cyprus problem. Mm -hmm. So there are fundamental issues to be discussed in relation to the context of any solution uh, to the Cyprus problem, and there are fundamental issues to be noted in relation to the interpretation of uh, the notions of bizonality uh, by communality and federation in the same context uh, for uh, finding a solution to the Cyprus problem. Do both communities understand the term in the same way? I think the first time we ever heard of bizonal by communal federation being an option for a solution to the Cyprus problem was in 1977. Well, uh, I will start from your first question that uh, it seems that the two communities do not have a common understanding, mm -hmm. uh, to put it simply, uh, in relation to what is meant by bizonal, by communal federation. It is also a fact that uh, the initial uh, reference to a bi communal federation uh, was used in the uh, 1977 high-level agreements between the then uh, President of the Republic of Cyprus, Archbishop Makarios, uh, and the Turkish uh, Cypriot leader, Rauf Dektas, 
1977 agreements do not expressly mention the term bisonality. Mm. Uh, the 1977 agreements um, were resting on four fundamental pillars, resting on the principle of bicommunality of the, of the state, uh, but with no particular reference to the term bisonality. The term bisonal, uh, bicommunal federation, actually it was biregional bicommunal federation, was firstly used in the 1978 uh, ABC plan, um, which was uh, suggested and the name derives from the sponsorship of the plan by the Americans, the British and the Canadians. Uh, and it is the first time that we see the use of the terms bizonal, biregional in that mm -hmm. sense, uh, bicommunal uh, federation. Uh, the 1977 uh, agreements uh, were talking about an independent, non-aligned bicommunal federation. They were talking about uh, that the territory of each constituent part of that federation uh, will be discussed in the negotiations. They were talking about uh, the fact that questions uh, in relation to principles like freedom of movement and so on will be discussed on the table of negotiations. Uh, and they were also giving a very general overview of what will be the functions of the central government. Following the 1977 high-level agreements, we had two years later the 1979 high-level agreement between the then President of the Republic, Spiros Kiprianou, and again, uh, the Turkish Cypriot leader, Rauf Dektas. Again, those agreements uh, recognize that the any basis to the Cyprus problem will be based on the 1977 agreements, thus on the, on the principle of mm -hmm. bicommunality of the, of the new state that will emerge, of the state that will uh, emerge in relation to the Cyprus uh, problem. Um, and of course, the 1979 agreements included very specific provisions in relation to the administration of the Varosha uh, area of the closed city mm -hmm. of uh, Famagusta. Famagusta. But since 19, 1977, we still discuss on the basis of bisonal, bicommunal federation. And still so many years on, we do not agree on the, um, on the interpretation of the terms. Could we say in as plain language as possible, what do, how do the two communities um, interpret this term for us, for the Greek Cypriots? What does bisonal, bicommunal federation mean? Would we have to, to independent, as independent as possible states with the federal government? Will it be, let's say, closer to a US model? Will it be closer to another country's model? Is it something, is it a novelty in the political sphere uh, universally? What, what is a federal, uh, a bisonal, bicommunal federation in Greek Cypriot terms? Jeff, here you are uh, raising a very important point uh, in the sense that, yes, uh, the terms by zonal, by communal federation have not been used elsewhere in the world. Uh, so there is a new ground here uh, that needs to be explored. Obviously, uh, the parameters and the definitional parameters of the terms uh, have been uh, set out in various uh, resolutions by the Security Council of the United Nations. They have been set out in various agreements between the two parties. They have been uh, uh, discussed extensively in various proximity talks or various direct talks that we had since 1977 when we were discussing with the Turkish Cypriot community as to the, new, as, as, as to the solution to the Cyprus problem. But definitely we do have various and very important interpretational and definitional issues relevant to uh, the notion of bisonality, bicommunality, and even the notion of federation. Mm -hmm. I should remind you that uh, since 1965, actually, we've been talking about uh, federation in Cyprus. The two, the two communities have been discussing those issues uh, following the 1963 intercommunal uh, clashes that we had in Cyprus. Gallo Plaza, the then uh, United Nations mm -hmm. uh, Security, uh, United Nations uh, Secretary General uh, Special Advisor, uh, made a, a very important report in relation to what were the positions of the two communities. Uh, the Turkish Cypriots then uh, were pressing for federation, but they understood federation as segregation from the Greek Cypriot community. 
So the notion of bisonality then was introduced since uh, that time, 1967, meaning that there had to be a, a forcible, a forcible uh, movement of population. That was the Turkish Cypriot position at mm -hmm. that time. And obviously we have seen that in 1974, yeah. there was indeed a forcible movement of population. More than 180,000 Greek Cypriots yeah. were forcibly moved from their homes uh, in the northern part of the Republic of Cyprus. Uh, and, and there was a segregation between the two communities. Well, since then, uh, various uh, Security Council resolutions have touched upon the issue of bisonality and bicommunality. The essence here is to create a federation, uh, a federation that will be comprised uh, of two constituent, not states, entities mm -hmm. uh, that would be part of a single, uh, of, of a single country state of Cyprus. Uh, with the importance of that republic, of that entity, of that federation, having a single international legal personality, single sovereignty, and single citizenship. Mm -hmm. And those are the fundamental principles upon which the Greek, Cypriot the Greek Cypriots' positions are based since the beginning of uh, the intercommunal talks. And what about the Turkish Cypriot community? Do they understand or do they accept what we say in terms of bisonal, bicommunal, Federation? Well, obviously, I mean, uh, the results talk of themselves. If they have accepted this, yeah. uh, we would have had a solution to the Cyprus problem. What is the main problem for them? What, what do they not accept? Well, they don't accept a lot of things. Uh, we should note here that the closest we came to a solution to the Cyprus problem, and actually it was the only time that people, the peoples of Cyprus, were asked about their opinion and mm -hmm. their stance in relation to the proposed solution was in 2004, on 24th mm -hmm. of April 2004, when uh, the Annan Plan, Annan Plan 5, mm -hmm. as it was uh, named, uh, was put at a referendum. Uh, we all know that the Greek Cypriots rejected with a great majority mm -hmm. the Annan Plan, and the Turkish Cypriots uh, accepted uh, the Annan Plan. Uh, so we know that the no vote at that time was not because the Greek Cypriots did not want a reunification of the islands. Mm -hmm. The no vote was because the Annan plan had uh, specific uh, provisions that were flooded, that were problematic in the understanding of the Greek Cypriots, uh, like, for example, the uh, protection of human rights, uh, the competencies of the central government, and so on. The main issue now in relation to, find, to finding a viable, lasting, and fair solution to the Cyprus problem mostly relates to the competences that uh, the two communities will agree to give to the central government. Uh, and there is a, a huge, not a huge, there is uh, a disagreement there as to the competences of the central cover, of the central government. There are obviously other issues. There is a property issue. Uh, there is the issue of freedom of movement or freedom of establishment and so on. Uh, and those issues are now being discussed or will be discussed with the beginning of the new round of, uh, of talks, of negotiations between the Greek Cypriot community and the Turkish Cypriot community. Thank you so very much. I think we have learned a few things today about at least the history and the, uh, the way that the notion, the definition of bisonal by by communal federation has. Thank you so much for your time and your insight and thank you for watching.